Let's start talking weather, everybody, here on this Thursday morning, July 16th, and uh, there have been rain showers ever since uh, later yesterday evening. We haven't tallied a whole lot of rain on the order of uh, about two tenths to three tenths has been pretty common around West Michigan. You can see the pavement is damp locally in Grand Rapids, but uh, at this point it's just uh, pretty much drizzle or some spotty sprinkles at worst. A couple showers mainly to the east and southeast of GR at this point in time. There has been this cold front that has been approaching and actually has come through, but weakening as it is doing so, uh, even though the air is a little bit cooler behind it, it, what's ironic is that it's actually going to be lingering in terms of the humidity today, so we're not going to get much of a reprieve from the humidity. In fact, even a little bit higher overall today, tomorrow, and then really starting to pick up as we we get into the upcoming weekend temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. These will hold fairly steady. We've got a lot of clouds around, so really not much reason for them to drop off any more so as a northeast or east breeze goes around five to eight or nine miles per hour. Dew points, there they are in the middle to even upper 60s in spots, so we can definitely feel some humidity. It's it's not oppressive, but it is noticeable as you do head out to, to work this morning. 77 degrees at noon. We've got a lot of clouds to start, but we will begin to have a few breaks in the clouds late morning and towards midday and then this afternoon even a little bit better sunshine as the mercury heads for 84 degrees in GR and we won't be dealing with any rainfall at that point in time. In fact, I would say between now and eight nine o'clock this morning would be our only shot for some additional sprinkles or patches of drizzle latest system is exiting as we speak. Some sunshine returns today and then we look out for even more sun tomorrow. It'll be much warmer in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees on Friday and then we burst into the 90s on Saturday. It'll probably only the upper 80s I'm thinking now on Sunday because of these early morning showers and thunderstorms that will tend to uh, put a damper on the uh, the extreme heat for the back half of the weekend. Nonetheless, the pattern stays very warm as we go forward. This is the latest look from the Climate Prediction Center. And again, as I oftentimes say, the deeper the oranges, the deeper the reds on this map, that's where the greater the departures from average are anticipated to be. And this chart is for week two of the forecast period. So, you know, if you've been paying attention to the weather forecast, you know they're looking warm through week one or the typical seven day forecast that you might uh, see and then even beyond that it remains quite warm in the 80s to occasionally the lower to mid 90s at times so we're going to have some additional bouts of heat it does appear through the remaining days of July low pressure system that has been working off to our south responsible for the large area of rain showers but not heavy rain that we have dealt with in recent times the heaviest of the rainfall now over towards the Detroit area and exiting slowly uh, to the east as we speak so we'll pick up on the RPM model it shows the moisture the general flow of that uh, precipitation heading further and further off to the east. Any greens there you notice there, maybe late morning and afternoon, that is false activity. Just uh, the model over modulating and detecting some of the clouds. But eventually, as I say, by late morning and afternoon, Mike, some sunshine does work into the mix. We've got temperatures that are back on the rise there from 84 today, 89 tomorrow, and then uh, lower to mid 90s on Saturday. Still in the upper 80s early next week. The best shot for rain, as I mentioned yesterday, was going to be overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. We'll talk more about that here coming up.